Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Today in this video, we will discuss about switched port analyzer S Pen. It is a very important topics if I will talk about network switching. So in this video, we will cover all the things like configuration, types of S Pen, all the features of uh, S Pen, you know, theory parts, everything we are going to cover in this single video. So if you want to learn all the things about S Pen guys, make sure you will watch this video till the end. I am going to configure S Pen on real devices because the configuration, you know, all features configuration are not available on simulation software. So you will understand all the features that you cannot perform practical on packet tracer or on EVNG because there you cannot run some commands. But here I am going to show you the all feature and you know this can help you to crack interview or maybe to configure S Pen in real time. Okay, so if you are a network engineer, make sure guys you will watch this video till the end. Without wasting our time, now let's begin the topic. Guys, see here I have one challenge. See, this is a network. Here I have one router. This router is connected with ISP and I have one switch. Through switch, I have connected some computer and this switch is connected with router. And this is how this user, means this LAN user are able to access internet. Let's say these all LAN users are able to access internet or these user are able to communicate with each other. Now problem is we cannot monitor traffic of these user on this switch by default. This is why because of behavior of switch. As you already know how switch takes forwarding decision, how switch treat frame. So when let's say this is a PC1 and IP address of this PC is 10.1.1.1. Okay. And this PC want to reach internet on the internet let's say 8.8.8.8. .8 this PC want to reach internet. Then or maybe this PC want to access any resources of any other branch. Then so just my concern is very simple here on switch I want to monitor this PC is forwarding which type of traffic or we can say I want to monitor that switch is receiving which type of traffic on this particular interface. Let's say this is 0 slash 1, this is 0 slash 2, this is 0 slash 3 and this is 0 slash 4, this is 0 slash let's say 5. Now by default whenever switch will receive any frame over here it will check destination IP and it will forward it and then it will forward the frame. Right by default we cannot monitor the traffic switch cannot identify which type of traffic I am receiving switch know only about the frame I am receiving a frame switch don't know it is a traffic of you know telnet SSH it is a traffic of HTTP FTP ICMP don't switch don't do anything about the types of traffic. So we cannot capture the traffic or we cannot monitor the traffic on a switch port. Let's say I want to check that these two users, yeah, okay, these two users are communicating with each other. But on this switch, I want to know that these two users are, you know, forwarding which type of traffic. So actually, I want to identify, I want to monitor traffic on these two ports of this switch. That by default, it is not possible. But with the help of S Pen switched port analyzer, we can analyze the traffic on these two ports. On a single ports also we can analyze the traffic. On multiple ports also we can analyze the traffic. On trunk link also we can analyze, analyze the traffic. So if you want to analyze the traffic on a switch, you have a features called S Pen. Uh, you can use this feature to monitor the traffic or to capture the traffic. Soon we will discuss how it's work. But first understand why we need it right we are discussing that why we need switch port analyzer so switch port analyzer is required because you already know how switch forward traffic between two ports like this is a this is a port 0 slash 1 and this is a port 0 slash 2 mac address of this machine is let's say a mac address of this machine is b ip address of this machine is 10.1.1.1 ip address of this machine is 10.1.1. let's say 2 so if 10.12 10.1.1.1 want to ping 10.1.1.2 so here icmp traffic will icmp protocol will generate one icmp request at layer 3 after that icmp 
request then there will be source ip 10.1.1.1 destination ip 10.1.1.2 after that source mac 0a destination mac 0b this is this is frame this pc will forward this frame to switch now switch is not going to check layer 3 information switch is going to check only layer 2 information first it will learn source mac address 0a mac address on this interface after that it will check destination and it will forward it from this interface right now switch don't know anything about the traffic okay so by default we cannot monitor this is a challenge okay we cannot monitor the traffic on the switch port okay so between let's say pc1 and pc2 i want to monitor the traffic i cannot monitor on switch if i will capture let's say this link if i will capture this link so then then if i will capture this link then also i can monitor only those traffic which these lan user are forwarding to isp or maybe to router right i can note capture the traffic between computers getting my point i can note capture the traffic between moving between computers okay so this is problem that's why we come up with this feature switch to port analyzer now understand what switch port analyzer will do we have multiple types of switch port analyzer guys okay first of all let me show you here that what is s pan so as you can see s pan stand for switch to port analyzer known as port mirroring it is a feature commonly commonly found on network switches that allow network administrator to capture and monitor traffic passing through a specific port or ports of switch so what it's saying it allow administrator to capture and monitor traffic passing through a specific port of switch or passing through a multiple ports of switch s pen is primarily used for network troubleshooting per performance monitoring and security analysis right for this reason we are actually using s pen feature okay so you will understand how we will configure it how it's work everything i am going to discuss here don't worry now when s pen is enabled on switch it copy the traffic passing through one or more source port and send it to destination port getting my point see here i am designing again one topology let's say this is my switch here i have one pc here i have one pc and let's say here i have connected one computer where capturing application is running let's say wire shark is running wire i'm using wire shark on this port on this pc wire shark or maybe solar wind any capturing tools let's say is running on this computer and this is 0 slash let's say 5 this is 0 slash 1 this is 0 slash 2 now with the help of s pen i can tell to this switch that whatever frame you will receive on these two port please send one copy of those frame from this interface please send one copy of those frame to this interface to f 0 slash 5 and whenever switch will forward any traffic from this port here we have one wires are capturing so i can capture the traffic i can monitor the traffic now i can see the traffic yes or no so this is how s pen work in s pen we are actually going to define source port source port and destination port source port is the port which you want to monitor source port is the port which you want to monitor and destination port is the port where you you want to collect the copies of frame source port can be a single physical port number it can be a multiple port number it can be a trunk link it can be a port channel right it can be port channel also source port we can monitor the traffic which is coming on port channel as well on trunk link as well but destination will be always one single port and switch will forward frame from that destination port okay so i will show you guys practically as well don't worry so here also you can see when we enable when when s pen is enabled on network switch it copy the traffic passing through one or more source ports and send it to a destination port the destination port is typically connected to a monitoring device such as network analyzer packet capturing tool which capture and analyze the copies copied traffic here are some few 
points about S band. So let me discuss that also first. Then we will move further. Now network monitoring. S band enable administrator to monitor traffic. We we already know now that S band is S band allow administrator to monitor traffic for various purpose, including network diagnostic diagnostic performance analysis, security monitoring by capturing network packets. Administrator can analyze the data to detect and troubleshoot network issue. So these are you know advantages we can say of S band. After that, you already know now source and destination as well. So source port can be uh, your a single physical port, multiple ports, and source port is the port where which you want to monitor the traffic on which you want to monitor the traffic. S band allow you to select one or more source port on which you want to monitor. The traffic. The source port can be physical switch port, can be virtual like VLAN interface. Depend on the capability of switch. It can be your trunk link also. It can be your port channel as well. The monitored network, the monitored traffic is then sent to a destination port. Okay. So after you know uh, copying up, uh, copying a frame on source port, it will send uh, copied frame. From the destination port, where monitoring device is connected. Now, ingress and egress. You already know ingress means incoming traffic. Egress means outgoing traffic. So, depending on the switch capabilities, S Pan can be configured to capture either incoming traffic or outgoing traffic on the source port, or you can capture the both. Let's say. This is my topology. Here, I want to capture or I want to monitor the traffic on this port, which is coming from this port, from this PC. That means I want to capture, I want to monitor only those frame which this PC is sending, right? That means I want to capture this link in ingress direction, right? In ingress direction only. I want to send one copy of frame of this port to, let's say, this port. Which is coming in direction in this direction only, right? I don't want to do you know send one copy from the destination port of traffic which is going from this interface, which is going from this interface. Or if you want to monitor the both, so you can configure both as well. So either I can configure source uh, in ingress direction, egress direction, and in both direction. We can configure these all three direction. Okay. Then, then limitation switch limitation. It's important to note that S Pen is a switched based feature. Meaning is limitation based on the capability of particular switch. The switch resources such as available bandwidth, buffer space, processing power can impact the effectiveness of S Pen. Definitely, if you are you know enabling this feature or any feature, let, let's say I am enabling OSPF on the router. So first you should identify the hardware configuration of your router that OSPF will work as smoothly there or not. Effective, effectiveness or not on the router. So while configuring OS uh, S Pen also you need to identify the hardware of your switch so that S Pen can work as smoothly. High level of network traffic or intensive monitoring can overload the switch and potentially affect the performance of the entire network. Overall, S Pen provide network administrator with powerful tool for capturing and analyzing network traffic. Okay, now let me discuss about the types of S Pen. So we have guys three types of S Pen. Three types of S Pen. In switching, there are typically three types of S Pen. Number one is local S Pen. Whenever we are configuring S Pen and source and destination, both port belongs to same switch. Let's say here I have one switch. And I want to capture this port, and I want to send send data of this port into this port. So this port is my source, and this port is my destination. So here, source and destination both port belongs to same switch. So this type of S Pen is local S Pen. When you will configure source port and destination port on a single switch, that will be your local S Pen. But if I will design one more topology over here, switch one and switch two. 
the you know here i want to again capture this port and i want to send the caption data from this port to this port this is the destination port so now you can see source belongs to different switch and destination belongs to different switch link between switches is configured as trunk so here we will configure remote span the type of span that you will configure in this scenario is remote span so remote span is required when your source and destination belongs to different switch done after that we have one more type of span that is er span and er span is used whenever you want to you know forward a copy of captured data from the ip network over the ip network let's say i have a topology like this let's say i have a topology like this uh, i have one switch over here switch here i have one some user and this switch is connected with one router r1 and this is one my branch let's say in delhi or in bangalore bangalore okay and after that uh, this router is connected with isp and this isp is connected with one more router r2 and here i have one more switch over here let's say this is in delhi delhi and here i have also some computers and this time my destination is this port my destination means my capturing device is available in delhi location and i want to capture port on the switch which is located in bangalore location let's say i want to capture these three link i want to monitor traffic on these three ports so now actually we here we will have one tunnel on the tunnel i want to forward you know captured traffic here you will capture this switch will this, these are the source ports so see this switch will copy one one frame which is receiving on this interface or which is you know transmitting from this interface and it will send one copy to this port so this time actually i need to forward my captured data over ip network so this type of span is called uh, er span this type of span is called er span okay now guys let me make you understand all types of span configuration one by one and while configuring a span i am damn sure you know you will be able to understand how a span works okay so till now we had only discussed what is a span why we need a span and uh, how many types of span are there now let me show you let me design one topology first here okay i am going to design one topology in my rack let's say here i have one switch this is my switch okay and on this switch let's say i have two computer one computer is here and one computer is here okay switch one like this this is let's say switch and this is pc one and this is let's say pc two okay and now i have one more computer here where i want to this is let's say destination i want to capture the traffic on this computer i am running wireshark here i will enable wireshark okay i will enable wireshark this is f1 slash 0 slash or we can say directly 0 slash 1 this is 0 slash 2 and this is 0 slash 9 0 slash 9 so 0 slash 9 port is connected with one computer where i am running wireshark and this computer is guys is my computer right so on my computer ethernet link i have connected you know my computer through ethernet link to switch on which port on 0 slash 9 port number now i am going to show you i have access of these all switch here this is 0 slash 9 let me take access of all switch here switch and then a pc1 let me show you the ip address of pc1 so ip interface brief exclude and assign here you can see ip address of pc1 is let's say 0 10.1.1.1 and ip address of pc2 is 10.1.1.2 so ip address over here is 10.1.1.1 ip address over here is 10.1.1.2 okay and i want to capture let's say these two ports 
these two ports i want to monitor these two ports so these two ports will become my source port these two ports are source port source port and this port is my destination port destination port so i will configure which ports are source port which ports are destination ports on switch so first of all let me take you to switch on this switch i'm going to say see monitor session to configure s pan this is command monitor session and after that session number you can configure session number from 1 to 66 it's also depends on the platform of switches let me use number 10 I have used monitor number, monitor session number 10 and after that I am going to define source or destination. So first let me design this define source. So source interface. After that interface type first Ethernet then interface ID 1 slash 0 slash 1 and you want to use range command actually you have multiple source port so you will use command like this. 0 slash 1 slash 0 slash 1 2 1 slash 0 slash 2 these two ports are source port see these two ports are source port and then you can define the direction direction tx means transmit transmitted traffic only rx means receive traffic only or you want to monitor both traffic transmit as well as receive so let's say both i want to monitor both traffic so just I have run this command here and uh, now I need to define the destination in same session number in same session number I need to define destination so monitor session number 10 and then destination interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 9 this is my destination port done okay just I have defined source port and destination port on the switch okay and if you want to check that pcs are able to ping each other or not let me ping 10.1.1.2 from pc1 so see i am able to ping 10.1.1.2 okay i am able to ping and now on switch you can run one command to verify span configuration that's it. that is so so and uh, then monitor session and then session number this is command to verify the span configuration okay output of this command in output you can see i have run this command session number 10 and then type of interface here we have source port source port is fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1 2 2 means there are two number of source port destination port is fast ethernet 0 slash 9 and encapsulation is netting, native and you can see ingress is disabled now on this port on this particular port on f0 slash 1 slash 0 slash 9 ingress is disabled that means now traffic cannot enter on this port once you will configure a switch port as destination in a span ingress will be disabled on this port now this port is we are using this port for the monitoring purpose now this pc cannot forward any traffic to this port getting my point now this port is used for the monitoring purpose only and if you want to verify you can verify the line protocol of this port will be down once you will configure a port as destination port line protocol of that that interface will goes down automatically how i can check so interface f 1 slash 0 slash 9 by running this command you can see here line protocol is down because we are using this port for the monitoring purpose now we are using this port for the monitoring purpose and on this particular interface all layer 2 protocols will be disabled automatically now layer 2 protocols are not enabled on this particular interface if you want to check see so spanning tree um, i have run the command so spanning tree and here you can see G uh, spanning tree is not running on f1 slash 0 slash 9 f1 slash 0 slash 9 spanning tree is not running done so all layer 2 protocols will disable on this particular interface and now i am going to open wireshark to capture to check that i am receiving 
द कैप्चर ट्रैफिक और नॉट वायर सार्क लेट मी ओपन इट and see this is my ethernet link so i am going to capture the traffic on my ethernet link my ethernet port of ethernet port of my laptop is connected to switch through an ethernet cable on 0/9 port done now here i am going to open this and again i am going to send some packet let me send 10 1000 ping packet ping 10.1.1.1 repeat 100 so you can see i'm getting all icmp packet over here in wire sark so this is how on capturing machine i am getting all the frame which switch is receiving on f1/0 and f1/0 1 0/1 and 0/2 switch is sending one copy of frame which switch is receiving and transmitting on 0/1 and 0/2 okay so that's why we are able here able to see the capturing now again i am going to send let's say 10000 1000 packet so you can see you will have 1000 icmp request here not only 1000 how many icmp request will be there and reply will be there there will be i think see when i am pinging this ip address from this it will send 1000 icmp request so it will send 1000 icmp request to this port first right after that it will send 1000 icmp request from this port so that all so this port also we are monitoring so switch will again send 1000 icmp request from here after that when it will generate reply switch will receive reply over here it will send 1000 copy here right when switch will forward this 1000 copy from this interface again switch will forward 1000 copy from to this interface to destination port right this is how local s pen work this is what this is local s pen because my destination port and source port both ports are available on same switch okay okay now this is now my source port is now my source port is you know um, access port my source port is access port now as i told you that a source port can be source port can be physical or we can say directly access port or trunk port trunk port done so let's say this switch is connected with one more port here and this port is configured as trunk and now i want to this is let's say 0 slash 10 i want to capture now this link i want to monitor traffic on this port this is trunk so i will configure this port as a source port but whenever you will configure you know trunk port as a switch port trunk port as a source port whenever we will define trunk port as a source port so as you know whenever switch will receive or switch will forward any traffic on trunk link it is performing encapsulation it will add one tag let's say it is sending one traffic of vlan 10 so it will add one tag number of vlan 10 let's say switch is sending a stp packet of stp packets of vlan 10 so there will be tag of vlan 10 so s pen does not send tag traffic to the destination port so now this is problem let's say the switch is receiving one frame over here where tag is of vlan 10 there is one tag of vlan 10 so it will not send this this frame to destination port now we cannot capture the traffic on the trunk link so yes guys we can capture the traffic but here we need to you know here we need to tell to switch that whenever you will let's say let's say i want to monitor on trunk link actually we have two types of encapsulation protocol one is dot 1q dot 1q and one is other one is isl so i can tell to switch that whenever you will receive or transmit dot 1q encapsulated packet through trunk link on trunk link you should forward one copy from this from the destination port getting my point see how i am what i have tried I want to try to tell you. See on this switch, 
let's say I I have tell that interface f1 slash sorry not interface monitor session one destination and then destination interface interface f1 slash 0 slash 10 and then if you will put question mark you can see encapsulation protocol so here you have to configure encapsulation protocol then only switch will send one copy of frame from trunk link to destination port here i can define encapsulation either dot one q isl or we can configure both by using this option replicate so if i will configure dot one q here it will forward all dot one q tag traffic from the trunk link to destination port if i will configure isl over here it will send i ISL tag traffic on trunk link to destination port. If I will configure replicate, then it will send both traffic. Getting my point? So this is how we can configure as a span, local S span, right? When source and destination both belongs to same switch. Now let me configure, let's say remote S span. Let me design one more topology here. This time here I have router one, switch one, sorry, not router and switch two. Between switch 1 and switch 2, I will check the link. Switch 1, let's say this is switch 2. And here I have one computer. Two computers are there, okay, I will not touch these two computers. Okay, here this is F 0 slash 1, this is 0 slash 2 here IP address is as you already know 10.1.1.1 and here IP address is 10.1.1.2 now my capturing device is on let's say switch 2 let's say my capturing device is over here but if I will say if I will put capturing device over here then I have to do what I have to change the Ethernet cable right I have to go to rack so what I am going to do I'm going to make this switch as switch 2 I'm going to make this switch as switch 2 let's say or I will do, don't worry guys I will change the cable let's say manually okay let's say here cable is connected capturing cable where wire shark is running on this computer wire shark is running wire shark is Well, circuit is running over here. This is again 1 slash 0 slash let's say 9. Now this time this is my destination port. So destination port belongs to different switch. Destination port and these are again source port. Source port. So now my source port is switch num on switch number 1. Destination port is on switch number 2 and link between these two switch is configure as trunk let me design this topology first here on router number on switch number one I am going to remove this configuration a span configuration I am going to say no to source and let me remove destination command also from here right now if you will check so uh, monitor session number 10 so we don't have any s span configuration over here right now let me access of switch 2 also here so clone session password pm123 switch 2 enable pm123 clear line 24 and switch 2 clear line 24 yes it's fine access switch 2 this is my switch 2 okay enable and I am going to check CDP neighbor so CDP neighbor switch 2 is connected with which link switch 1 is connected with 0 slash 20 link 
let me run again switch one is connected with two link 19 and 20 so on switch number two guys first of all i am going to down all interface interface range f1 slash 0 slash 1 2 24 and i am going to say shut down exit interface f1 slash 0 slash 19 i will run no shut command only on 90 port number which is between switch 1 and switch 2 say no set and now if you will check so cdp neighbor so you can see there is only so cdp neighbor only switch 1 is neighbor and let me do one thing let me connect my computer my laptop with switch 2 now so just wait for one minute let me connect in rack now guys i have connected uh, you know ethernet cable which is connected with my laptop to switch 2 here i have connected uh, right this laptop laptop through ethernet cable okay on switch number two so let me do one thing on switch number two i am going to run no set command on interface f1 slash 0 slash 9 say no set here also done now soon this link will come up this link will come up and let me close the wire arc here okay and okay now everything is working fine here just i need to change i think uh, ip address of my laptop so ip address of my laptop should be in same subnets let's say here i am going to configure ip 10.1.1.3 okay so window r Here IP address is this one. Let me remove it. 10.1.1.3 Default gateway is not required here. Let's say I have not defined any default gateway. Okay. Done. Fine. Now I am going to configure what? R span. Remote span here. Okay. First of all, link between switches must be configured as trunk. So let me configure this link as trunk between switches. So on switch number one, I'm going to say interface F1 slash 0 slash 19 and switch port mode trunk. On switch number two also interface F1 slash 0 slash 19 and switch port mode trunk. Now link between, okay, we have to define encapsulation protocol. So switch port trunk encapsulation, let's say dot one Q and switch port mode trunk. On switch number one also, let me check. I have to define encapsulation protocol. Encapsulation dot switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q and switch port mode trunk. None. Now you can verify the trunk. So interface uh, trunk. Okay, guys, trunk link carry traffic of VLAN 124094. For all VLAN, we, you know, trunk link carry traffic of all VLAN. Now, how switch will forward traffic to a particular destination on a trunk link? Until and unless you will not define destination to a VLAN. So, here in remote span, we need to define one VLAN for a span. That is a span VLAN right so on that particular vlan this switch will forward traffic over the trunk link okay so just i will add one more new command here in rs pan okay so first of all on switch number one i am going to check is there any vlan so vlan brief so there is no any vlan right let's say i am going to create one vlan for a span that is vlan 100 okay so config t after that vlan 100 name i can configure name let's say a span and then we will say remote span that's it that's it now if you want to verify it you can run command what so vlan brief now you can see there is one vlan now by running this command so vlan brief we are not able to identify that this vlan is for a span definitely yes here we have name of the vlan but let's say i have not configured the name so you can run command so 
VLAN and then SPAN. SPAN. So VLAN and then remote. Sorry, remote SPAN. Okay, so now you can see VLAN 100 is your remote SPAN. VLAN 100 is remote SPAN. Now I am going to configure what? Source port and destination port. So on switch number 1. Remote SPAN is VLAN 100. Here I am going to say config T. Monitor. And then session. Let's say session number is 50. After that source interface. Uh, fast Ethernet. 1 slash 0 slash 1 2 2 okay and I need to drive define direction also so we can direction define direction also let me say both direction both after that monitor session 10 and destination destination enter face how you will define destination over here Yes or no? Because destination interface is not located on this particular switch. So that's why we have configured what? Remote VLAN. VLAN span, right? So I am going to say what destination is. Destination will be your remote uh, interf uh, monitor 10. Here I don't need to define the interface. Destination will be what? See here. Destination is remote. And then VLAN. And which VLAN? VLAN 100. So this is the reason why I have created VLAN. Because here I cannot define the interface. Because inter interface is located on destination interface is located on switch number 2. So here I have defined destination interface as VLAN 100. Done. That's it. You don't need to configure any more command on switch number 1. Let me take you to switch 2. And here you need to configure monitor session then session number. What session number I have used here? 10. So let me use 10 here and then source. Source is remote VLAN 100. Getting my point what I am doing. And then monitor session 10 destination and this time destination will be interface f 1 slash 0 slash 9 so on switch number 2 i have defined source is remote vlan 100 and destination is this one and on switch number 1 i have defined what destination is remote vlan 100 and source port are the physical interfaces like this this is how you will configure remote vlan and now when pc1 and pc2 will communicate with each other okay on router number two on switch number two we have one more way to verify that i am getting you know one copy of uh, frame on uh, f 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 of switch 1 to switch 2 or not so what i can do i can check so interface f 1 slash 0 slash 9 and we can say include packet include packets output output i can check how many packet has been out from this interface so this this is the output and i can clear it clear counter clear counter and then uh, interface means fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 9 I have cleared the counter of this interface. So now you can see on this interface total odd packet is 0. Right. Now I am going to ping from PC1 to PC2. Ping 10.1.1.2 and repeat 100. Okay. And on switch number 2 you can verify it now. You can see how many packet have odd from this interface 400. Why? 200 request and 200 reply 200 request and 200 reply now you can open wireshark as well and you can verify it in wireshark let me open wireshark here and i am going to capture ethernet port I'm going to send again data pc1 
and say 1000 C in YSRC also I am getting so whatever traffic now switch will receive on these two ports it will send one copy to this destination okay so this is how we configure S Pen okay guys now this is all about S Pen if you have learned something from this video now it's your responsibility to hit on like button we will meet soon in next video with another concept till then stay safe guys bye bye thank you thanks for watching